watch your speech. Colossians chapter 6. Sorry, Colossians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how he ought to answer every man. That is easier said than done. When you are sure that your point of view is the right point of view and the other person's point of view is nonsense, you don't want to follow this. You just want to talk and present your side, your case, and show that you are correct. But a lot of times it doesn't work. What really works is if you ever come across someone who is terribly annoyed with you, but they are willing to talk with you. That is the first part of, of the, the, the solution right there. They, they, they're disappointed, they're annoyed with you, but they're willing to talk with you. That's good. Well, what you have to do, just allow that person to talk. Don't butt in or interrupt. Let them talk. The only time you must butt in is to seek clarity in terms of what they are saying. Try to listen to the person and try to understand what they are saying from their side. Now, that part is not easy because based on how you grew up, based on who taught you, based on your family background, you have in your head how this thing should happen. The other person doesn't have that in their head. So let the person talk and listen to them and try to understand from their point of view. That will assist. Uh, the, 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 the text says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Take your time uh, that he may know how he ought to answer every man. They are sometimes don't even answer because by answering someone who is infuriated, you're throwing gasoline on fire. Conversations bond people together if you are not caustic and rowdy. Remember, seek to understand the person's point of view from their side and that will assist in causing a bond between the two of you. God and Father, help us as Christians not to always want people to accept our point of view, but for us to be willing to listen to and to accept the other person's point of view. Help us to put anger out of our lifestyle and to try our best to season our conversation with salt and with grace so that individuals would be happy to converse with us. Bless us as we practice this method right within our homes, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.